hello everyone uh, welcome back to this video series uh, on how to design a gym members website okay in our previous episode we have designed up to trainer space so let's design classes space okay for the classes what we need to do copy this section from the home page and yeah okay this is um, so this is for the public display and for others for example let's we can duplicate this widget and here we can set advance uh, sorry visibility enable logic so user role enable guess okay guess or pub public this item is visible uh, to the public only and here this widget we can enable a uh, visibility logic so user role enable user role and we can set uh, the user role for example Sunday fitness program for those who have subscribed to the Sunday Fitness um, uh, subscription, they will be able to see this thing. Okay. So for the content for the uh, class schedule, you have to design templates here in the Elementor templates. You have to design uh, templates for each uh, membership type. Ap uh, apart from this public uh, templates. You have to design templates, class schedule templates uh, for each membership type, for each user role. Different class schedules. Okay, and you can set different class schedules. For example, here we can duplicate this visibility here in the user role. You can uh, delete this Sunday program, and here you can say for gym membership. For those who have subscribed to the gym membership program, they will be able to see this thing. Okay, so just like that, you can set different user role, and those uh, different user roles, uh, uh, they will be able to see different things. For example, they see. Let's preview this. Let's preview this space. Here, I do not. Uh, I am uh, now. I am an admin, and now I am uh, login state and i do not subscribe any membership so i do not see any class schedule so let's see to incognito and preview this as a uh, public or guest user now yes you can see this is the public uh, guest user okay that's like that yeah we can set different uh, schedules for different user role okay and there, there there is nothing to add for the layout we have already the design we have already set a setting uh, on the home page and what we can add here is
this call to action section okay paste it here update it and we're done we're done with the classes we can okay and then next is become a member area okay now let's design the become a member page this is the uh, become a member page this is the registration page um, for that let's uh, copy let me copy a layout full screen yeah for example we can copy this layout copy this paste it here okay delete other things okay here the members is state uh, registration here members save form okay and here okay and then we can insert short code pms sorry pms register Okay, now this is the registration form. Update it. And we're done. Let's see how it looks on mobile. Yeah, it's okay. Tablet. Okay. Copy this link. And let's see on incognito. Here we go. This is the membership registration form. You can select the membership tab and register. This become a member base. Okay. And and yeah, we are done with this page too the last page that we need to design is member area this is account page let's edit with element or okay now let's design the last page member area or account page okay and uh, we can copy this uh, section layout from the uh, become a member or registration page and paste it here instead of registration account membership area or member area okay and for the shortcut Lessons PM register to PM uh, PMS account applied. Update this. Here. Uh, the user interface for this account page of this uh, uh, plugin paid membership plugin is little uh, limited here you can see subscription 
edit profile payments log oh, this is uh, this step so little limited if you want to design this if you want to make changes you can change it you can insert any icons or uh, anything and link these tabs to those icons or icon list menu navigation bar horizontal or vertical for example here I, I can insert icon list and uh, insert links to these tabs for example oh, sorry so let's preview this paste member area okay here copy these links for example edit profile copy this link and insert it here you can change the item to say for example profile change the icon to user So like this you can display it in line then next subscriptions copy this link paste it here membership uh, membership plan Okay, then copy again payments insert the link sends to payments payment record or payments card. okay then last is logout next is item here log logout for this you can insert uh, the your logout url for example http my do website domain slash wp login dot psp question mark action equal to logout okay update it okay here let's see the changes Here, if I click on profile, you will navigate to this edit profile page. If I click on payment record, yeah, no payments found. And uh, when I add this icon list widget, um, there is duplication for the navigation uh, panel navigation menus so let's hide this navigation default uh, element uh, sorry and uh, plugin navigation um, so let's uh, inspect this and pms account navigation let's copy this uh, class css class and come back here go to advanced custom CSS 
dot paste the CSS class then here display none okay now we have already hidden the default navigation PMS account navigation and now we can navigate using this icon list widget so it ha does not have to be icon list you can insert other icons or simple text and you can link uh, to the those tabs and navigate to this account area so here are uh, not only limited to the their default uh, tabs you can add other contents for example that plans classes other to other other information that you pro pro provided or you offer to those uh, subscribers members uh, you can add to this account area and you can show different contents using the visibility logic okay and if you have any questions or doubts, any any help you need, you can contact me. You need uh, on the comment section below or contact me on WhatsApp or Facebook. And this is the last episode for this video series. And I hope you learned something new. And I hope you are able to uh, design a gym membership or membership website you by following these videos. Okay. Uh, see you in the next video series. Thanks for watching these videos. Bye bye.